Alright, so if you guys have a Lexus NX200 just like the other video I made with this brake system, it's exactly the same thing. So, for the parking brake, electronic parking brake, there's two 5mm Allens holding the parking brake together, which are oops, that one. And where's the other one? And this one. So first, we take those off. <clears throat> so after you take off to those two uh, five millimeter Allens, it just pops out, and you get the drive motor. You can put this aside because you're not gonna mess with it at all. And then you notice on here, there is kind of like a, it's like a spline looking drive gear inside there so I found out that the T45 fits perfectly in there there I just use this is just a fancy T45 it's like a low profile one but if you get a regular T45 Torx that'll be fine so before you mess with that let's take out these two 14 millimeter nuts you need a 17 millimeter uh, open wrench to hold this so you can loosen this up. So let's uh, let's uh, do that. All right, so we got the two 14 millimeter nuts, I mean, sorry, bolts out. And if you notice, if it was a regular caliper without the stupid parking brake crap, this would just come out, but it doesn't because the, the drive gear is actually make, it's putting pressure on the pads, not letting it go through the motor. But if you put your Torx, in there and it, it's left or right it doesn't matter because if you tighten if you try to tighten it, it doesn't go anywhere just loosen it and you notice that it'll start moving and as you start as soon as you start breaking it loose oh look at that it starts coming off and this is where a little my little trick comes in here. so then you get your caliper tool or mine's just like the fancy wazoo one, but you guys are ones. It all works the same. So what I do is I'll show you. So you get your Torx, put it back on the caliper, and I just keep spinning it. You keep going. You basically just getting pushing, retracting the the rod that pushes against the piston. So you retract it, you retract it, you retract it, and then you can push the piston in. And if you don't do this, you'll notice if you try to put pressure on, which I'm doing, the piston doesn't go anywhere because it actually bottoms out. And you just, you really just keep on doing this back and forth. It's better with two hands, but since I'm holding the freaking camera, it's kind of like a pain in the, pain in the butt. So. You know what, let me just do this. You guys get the point. Yeah, let me just do that. Put the camera down. All right, so piston's in, everything's good. So now we're just gonna put this thing in, which would be a lot easier if I had two hands, but hold on. All right, so you put the caliper back in. Obviously, I gotta take this off because I still gotta machine the rotor, but just to make sure how you guys get it, you, you put the 14s back on and then that point you could um what i do when i notice that if you don't lubricate this little o-ring right here it's a pain in the rear end to get it back in so it's a little bit of w40 should be fine just a little bit you don't have to go wazoo on it but a little bit a little spritz and you kind of run it across the whole seal yep then you get your stupid over over engineered Unnecessary freaking Toyota. I don't know. That's the reason I don't like. That's the reason I kind of. I'm really glad I work for Toyota. This is kind of be a pain in the butt if I was an actual Lexus technician. So then, you basically just put it on there, match up the holes. You get your two five millimeter bolts. Start, start it up. I gotta get a tripod or something. Yeah, well, anyways, you guys get the point. You guys put your two five millimeter bolts back in. 
and at that point after you machine your rotor which honestly I haven't you're done you're done you don't have to do anything in the car you don't have to do nothing you don't need no scanner you save a lot of money you don't pay the snap-on guy macro guy or any other tool truck guy money to update your fuck your freaking scan tool because apparently if you don't update it you can't use this stupid feature which or you can just go like some of the guys that put power to this which that's more you're just asking for trouble. You're going to put power in ground with that? I'm like, yeah, I don't know. My method has worked fine, and it works fine for the RX, which is like the the better version. This is like the poor man's RX, I'm guessing. Two-liter turbo, but whatever. But you guys get the point. After everything, you tighten up your five-millimeter nut bolts and uh, can your 14, and you're done. And uh, that's basically it boys and girls. Thanks for watching.